Oh hello, it's me again and I'm cooking today and I'm making a, a cake, well it's biscuits actually, but there's no baking invol involved, it's called chocolate salami biscuits, so it's like a refrigerator cake or a refrigerator cookies, something like that I think, <clears throat> and it, the recipe is taken from this book, uh, Taste of Transylvania, Food and Drink from the Heart of Romania. And it's written by the charity called Hospice of Hope. And they support hospices and the development of the hospice movement throughout Romania and southern southeastern Europe and there are a number of Hospice of Hope charities in the UK. Sorry about my voice. I'm feeling a bit run down, rushing to do so many things this morning. At least this is quite simple. Well, my weighing scales, my new weighing scales weren't working properly. I think it's because I've got no level surfaces in this house which makes things awkward or it might just be running out of a battery I don't know I'll have to sort it out sometime when I've got time but I had an accident again well a near accident uh, my partner's wardrobe trying to get something down from the top shelf and I, used this, I was on a step ladder when the middle shelf collapsed backwards because of the weight of all his clothes but luckily I was able to get off the stepladder and not sustain an injury so now I've put all his jackets away a ton they're all designer as well he gets them from eBay so some of them might not even be the actual thing because so, some people just wear an item once and then don't wear it again so they just send off send it back get you know, get a price for it, but at a reduced rate. Uh, I don't understand these people that don't want to be seen in the same item more than once. All right, I'm going to start by. Oh, what am I going to do? All right, I'll tell you what's in this bowl first of all. I'll put this down. Yeah. It's got biscuit crumbs I used, well, crushed, right at the bottom. Gluten-free shortbread they were, 200 grams, just put them in a bag, smash them with my hammer, you know, my meat tenderizer, then put them in the bowl. Also in the bowl is six tablespoons of caster sugar. 75 grams well I wasn't using my scales then decided not to so I just estimated it 75 grams of ground almonds yeah I mentioned the biscuits already and that's what's in there so far so now I just put the raisins <coughs> the raisins that I soaked I put them in next Get a wooden spoon. Just put the raisins in. I'll tell you how many raisins that was. 125 grams of raisins. So I'm just mixing it about a little bit. Amalgamating it all. And don't worry about the big bits, it's nice to have some bits to chew on. You don't like, want it too sort of wet and slimy. I have got a rough idea what this tastes like because I used to get the same biscuits or similar from an East European shop that sold this uh, Romanian biscuits. Yeah, 
this, this type, they call it salami because it looks like a salami alright, when it's formed oh, did I mention I didn't put mixed peel in it because I don't like mixed peel so I, was, so I cut up some dates obviously I didn't put the stones in I threw them in the bin some dates and some uh, glacé cherries so it's going to be nice and sweet it smells lovely alright that's that for now just move it over here got two egg yolks I didn't want to do it in front of you, uh, in front of the camera, because I knew they'd break, they'd split. So I've got two perfect egg yolks here. Just whisk it up a little bit so it's nice and amalgamated. Yeah, good job. There's no um, cooking it. Well, that is melting. So in a way, that is cooking. Now, I'm not going to move the camera, you'll just have to take my word for it. I've got chocolate buttons here, and I used approximately 200 grams of chocolate buttons. And that's when the scales started to play up. So it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less. It said three tablespoons of butter. I just cut what I thought was three tablespoons into cubes. Hope it's not too buttery. Alright, I'm going to put water in here and bring it to the boil. Oh, actually, I have to make sure that it doesn't sit on the water. Mm. Since I right, feel it, it's dry. Now, get it up, it's still dry. Put it on, yeah, should be all right. Anyway, it's gonna evaporate a little bit once I've brought it to the boil, it won't take long. And then I'm gonna turn it down to a simmer. So, yeah, been quite busy today, planning a new video or on Drake, just Drake, so I'm just going to try and download from YouTube my other videos, the woolen, the woolly hats, and just get the Drake bits out and maybe make a video just from his, from his parts. Because he seems to be the most popular character. So I don't think I'm going to bother with the others. Just concentrate on on Drake. And I like playing him as well. And my friend said Drake's my favourite character. And I said yeah, mine too. So I'm just going to concentrate on him from now on. I have to learn more about boxing and stuff. Which I don't really know anything about. Oh, so, so much. So much preparation when you want to make a video. Even something light-hearted and that, you know, you need to get your facts right, whatever it is. Even if it's comedy. Um, it's not easy making videos. Uh, and I hope that doesn't go blank again like it did not long ago. Because this is going to be a two-parter, unfortunately. Because it has to stay in the fridge for 24, 24 hours before I can open it and then taste it. Oh no, it says refrigerate for several hours. Yeah, well, I'll still have to do it in two parts. It says serve with whipped cream if desired, but I'm not going to bother with that. But part two will be me slicing it or just cutting off one slice and eating it and tell, telling you what it tastes like. Alright, let's wait for this water to boil and then I'll turn it down to a simmer. 
Nothing worse than watching a pot boil, is there? Or paint, it's like watching paint dry. No, it's a bit more interesting. She get bubbles. <coughs> yeah, there were some men out there earlier on with chainsaws. I wasn't happy. They were making a right, a right load of noise. Oh, I don't like walking past people with a chainsaw, do you? No, I get really paranoid that they might um, turn around and chop my head off or something. That's my cat. I don't want him coming out and pestering me while I'm trying to concentrate. And sometimes he's quiet and he just sneaks up to you. And he hasn't gone for my legs for a long, long time, but that could still happen. And I wouldn't want it to happen in the kitchen when there's boiling water on the stove. So I've shut the living room door. He can go out anyway, he's got a cat flap. I think he's come in now for a sleep because he's been out all day virtually. Alright, I'm turning the water down because it's boiling. Just want it on a simmer. So I do a little bit more waiting. If this was gas, it'd be a lot quicker. It's electric. So I think my next. This is about 20. 20 years old. Is it? 20 years old or more? 20, 22. 22. 21 or 22 years old. It's lasted a long time. I'm sure there's many of you that have had cookers that have lasted longer. It's too small. They redid the kitchen and we were left with gaps on the side of the cooker, which is horrible. So I suppose they make all ovens that. Will that even fit through the front door? God, I don't know. All the doors are really narrow. The front door actually is... Uh, the front door's wider than the interior doors. Alright. Just going to melt this now. Just stir it about a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to soften already, that's good news. Maybe I should have cut the butter up into pieces. Yeah, maybe. Oh God. I can use a spoon. Oh God, that's my phone. I'm going to ignore that. Oh God. That front one comes on just when it wants to. Oh no, I can hear the chainsaw people. Oh, blooming heck. Go away. That's why I like going to the new forest, because it's so peaceful. Men to live in a flipping village. It's not a village, it's flipping noisy. And police sirens all the time, Helico police helicopters, ambulances, people having barbecues and parties late at night. It's bloody horrible and I'm completely surrounded by houses in this road. And a lot of people just park here for minutes at a time. Sometimes about half an hour. I feel like saying, fuck off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Please edit that out. Oh, no, you can't, and I can't. Because I haven't got an editor, a proper editor yet. I'm really sorry. I'll grovel for the rest of my life. Oh, why did I swear? I was dreading, actually, that I was going to swear, because I've been in such a bad mood today. Had a bad night's sleep. Felt really ill. Don't know why. Alright, I'm not going to cry. 
Oh, I am sorry for swearing. I know a lot of people don't like swearing. They think it's wrong. I'm a bit different. I always, always swear. Well, a lot. I swear quite a lot, actually. But that's no excuse. You shouldn't swear. But it's difficult. It's difficult if you're angry to not swear. What do you say instead? Do you say, oh, crumbs? It just doesn't really sound like you're angry, though, does it? Oh, crumbs. Oh, goodness, oh, for, for heaven's sake. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and... Oh, but then you're taking the name of heaven in vain, then, aren't you? Oh. I'll just make up a swear word and it'll be mine. Sorry about that, you two. Please forgive me. I'll try never to do it again. I know I've done it before in a, in a couple of videos. This is melting really nice, look. Can you see? I want it as smooth as velvet. Oh, can you imagine if this isn't showing because I swore? Oh no. I just write a letter and say, look, I wasn't feeling myself. Had a bad night's sleep. Been feeling really run down recently. Had to cancel my blood test like yesterday. Because I had terrible IBS. It just went on and on and on and I thought I can't risk going. I didn't have a lot of time to get ready either, so I had to cancel it. I haven't made another appointment yet, but that's something I've got to do. To find out why, I, why I'm feeling so lethargic all the time and ill. Alright then. Could just be stressed. I'm so easily stressed. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is fine. This is done. Let's turn that off now. I'm going to mix it into this bowl. So you can see what I'm doing. That's really hot. At least I didn't swear then. I just have to put my oven glove on. Get a firm hold of it. Oh, it's not too much actually, the mixture. To get all of it out. I'm not going to lick the bowl. Okay, well, it's not cake mix, is it? melted chocolate and butter. Right. Hope I'm doing it in the right order. Yeah. Alright, I'm just mixing it all together now. Mm. Maybe it's not enough liquid in it. I'll just be persistent. Maybe there's too many ground almonds and biscuit crumbs in it. Oh, oh the egg yolk will add some moisture to it. That's good to know. Yeah, I've been a bit of a sorry... I mean, I could always add a drop of water in it, I think. I oh, was I meant to add the soaking liquid from the the raisins in it? I don't know. I don't really know why you had to soak the raisins. Is it to get rid of that stuff there? 
that's in there that keeps them from clumping together. I don't know. Uh, just hope YouTube have forgiven me for swearing. It's really not ladylike, is it? I've probably come across really sweet in, that, in my videos. Well, I am. <laughs> but sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I'm really not ladylike. I don't know what that noise is. Is it the um, chainsaw people again? Or is it just one person? I don't know. It's not too loud anyway. God, this is really solid. I don't know how I'm going to make it into a sausage shape. I might, have, I might have to add a bit of water. But I'd rather not. Good job my arm's a lot better, otherwise I won't be able to do this. Yeah, I want it to look brown. As brown as can be. And then I'll know that all the chocolate's been amalgamated. I know I'm going to use that word probably quite a lot today. Oh, that could be my swear word, couldn't it? Amalgamated. No, no. <laughs> All right. I really like using clip chat for my little videos that I make. Those like what I call film films. But, um, you can only export it, export 10 minutes worth of it, which I think is ridiculous. If I'm wrong about that, would you let me know? Because I think Clipchamp's fantastic. And it always comes up with new things, like that Kaleidoscope app on there. That's brilliant. I really enjoyed the collide, watching the kaleidoscope videos, listening to the background music. Found it quite relaxing. I thought I think it's better if you do it slow than fast. I think fast would be too much for people, and it might disorientate them a little bit. Let's see what this is like. I might need to add some water. Still very dry. I could put my hands in that actually, but I don't want to. I mean, I will have to mould it with my hands at one point. I can't say I'm looking forward to that. I just don't like things on my hands. I like them to be plain. I couldn't eat like a greasy chicken wing with my fingers, no. Couldn't do nothing like that. I'll eat a McDonald's hamburger, but I like the little ones because they make less mess. No, I don't like mess. But I'm not OCD about it or anything. I used to be, but not anymore. Oh, I'm OCD about certain things. Alright. Like a lot of us are. Okay. This is the hardest work I've done all week, I think. I have to lie down after this, I think. Yeah, just checking that screen now and again. Make sure it hasn't gone black. <coughs> I can just see this falling apart actually. I'm going to put a little bit of water with this egg yolk that's left at the bottom. That's it. I think that's quite a good idea. Ok, 
keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. I tried a man here with really big muscles. They could do this in no time, couldn't they? big muscles, sorry. Oh, anyone with big muscles. I've got weak muscles, or no muscles. It's just fat, <clears throat> flab. Can you imagine doing this for a living? Your right arm would be like this, wouldn't it? And your left arm would be normal size, but the right arm would be like that. Really big. Oh, they've got machines, though, that do this, haven't they? Of course they have. Yeah, but I suppose a lot of women who make cakes at home and sell them, manage to sell them to friends and family, etc., or businesses, they've probably, with all the mixing they do, they've probably got one thin arm and one big, muscly arm as well. Alright. Oh, that's it. Just gonna put some washing up liquid in there because this is this sticks really bad at egg yolk. Yeah. Alright then. So I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm wondering whether to... I'm going to put it directly on the kitchen roll. Uh, not kitchen roll. Uh, baking paper. Non-stick ba baking paper. And this is one that I've not used before. I, it's ages since I last used baking paper. Right, nice clean hands. Oh, where's my towel? Here it is. Hang that up, I don't need that now, do I? You probably can't see me, can you? Don't worry, I haven't disappeared. Alright, this is going to be the messy bit. It's probably going to be a disaster. Alright. Not sure how much to use, it's difficult. I think I'll have to cover the whole space actually. Hope it doesn't keep rolling though, that's what I really hate. Yeah, which is the right side, that one. No, I'll put it on that side. I can always cut off the excess. Hope I'm gonna have room in the fridge for it. Oh, it's rolling. Alright. Mmm. So I'm going to do it. I might need more kitchen um, baking pa paper, I don't know. I'm going to do it that way, like that. Alright, I'm just going to dump it on. to make it longer actually. Doesn't matter. 
Well, that's a well, that's a way. Alright, that looks like a complete mess. Alright, I'm going to put that down a bit. I'm going to just start my... You can actually do it square, because the ones I was buying, square. This is very moist. I'm hoping it's not too moist. It should harden up in the fridge. You don't have to do a sausage shape if you don't want, because the ones I was buying were a square. So I'm going to do a square one. It's just a lot easier. Flatten it down. I want it to look attractive. Like it's shot bolt. Oh, it's running right, going right through the paper. Oh, what I'm going to have to do is put foil down. Yeah. I'm going to have to rough it in foil as well. Should have put the foil down first, but it didn't say that in the recipe. Right, I'm just going to wash my hands now. Oh, they're really, really slimy. Oh. These more of this wash up. Oh. I go through like this like there's no tomorrow. What a brilliant invention fairy liquid is. It cuts through grease. Brilliant. Fairy is my personal favourite. Now I'm gonna wrap it. Yeah. I'm quite confident that it's not a sausage shape. It probably might take a bit longer than if it was in a long snake and a long sausage form. But it doesn't matter. I'll probably be opening it up tomorrow. Not tonight. Right. Oops. Oh, I don't think it is going through. Let me see what I'm doing. Oh, well, I need sellotape. I try not to squeeze it too much. I don't want to get it out of shape. I might need a little bit of sellotape. Or, I know, I'll just use foil. It's the best thing, isn't it? Oh, it's quite flat. Mm, never mind. I don't think it really matters what shape it's in. Foil, where are you? On top of my fridge freezer. Kitchen foil. 32, that one. Just like they download it. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's it. Might take longer to harden. I don't know. But not quite what I expected. Well, I knew the way I'd laid it, like, there was no way I was going to make it into a sausage shape. Because of the way that I didn't use enough paper. I didn't have enough width, basically, where I'm standing. Alright. That goes into the fridge. Into the fridge. And then I will be unwrapping it. Oh gosh, it's come off. Never mind. It's come off the wall. Oh, I can't really take a picture, can I? Yes, I'll take a picture of it. I'll have to get it out. But first, I'm going to say a goodbye. Then I will take a picture of it wrapped up. And then when I... Tomorrow I will take a picture of it before I cut it up, I think. Yes. Alright then, sorry about the swearing. I hope this gets published. 
and I will beg to I will beg forgiveness to YouTube forever. All right then, bye for now.